you're here. Blue and I were just getting ready for the really big art show. I just love looking at these. <laughs> Blue is quite the artist. You know, I think these are good enough for an art show. Baseball. Oh. Oh, the art show, of course. Today is the really big art show at Blue School. And we get to make stuff for it, too. That is, if you want to. Do you? Great. Oh, good thinking, Blue. Your portfolio. You and Blue can put all your artwork in your portfolio to keep it safe for the art show. Let's get going. Really big art show. This is so cool. Oh, so this is the really big art show. I really like this one. Uh, it says to me, snow. Mm, bright blue or a big white fluffy cloud, yeah. What do you think it is? Oh. Oh. Oh, these frames are for the art show, but the art isn't finished yet. What are we going to do? Isn't the art show today? What's that? Cool portfolio. Yeah, it's where you'll keep all the art projects you and Blue create. Oh. Then, right before the really big art show, you can pick your very favorite project to put in the show. Oh. Periwinkle, Marky Marker, Chalk Girl, Aluminum. Oh. This is a list of all our friends that will show their art today, along with you and Blue. Will you help them with their art projects? Great. Oh, and don't forget, we still need that ribbon for the really big art show. Oh. Hey, don't forget to put your favorite pieces of artwork in the portfolio. That way, we can make sure they all make it to the show. <laughs> oh, and while you're at it, can you keep your eyes open for a ribbon? You can put it on your favorite piece of art at the show. So, when everyone has finished a project, including you and Blue, the show can begin. Oh. Right, Blue. This green striped frame must be where my artwork should go. Great. I better get started on my masterpiece. I think I'll be right in here. on eight very perfect stories for the really big art show. Hey, you could be an assistant and help me illustrate them if you want to. Oh, oh. I want to enter the caterpillar in the really big art show. It's a great story about how caterpillars magically turn into butterflies. Do you think you could help me illustrate this story? Oh, oh. Cool, thanks. That one's called the caterpillar. Oh, oh. Caterpillar is getting very, very sleepy. Can you draw a sleepy face on the caterpillar? What would that face look like? Oh, oh. Caterpillar, oh, that's a good one. Oh. Green, all right. Don't you love that purple? Purple is a cool color. Colors are so magical. Green, all right. Are you going to use warm colors or a cool color? Is this color your favorite? Purple. Can I like that yellow. You must really like this color. This storybook is looking great. Purple. Kangaroo loves purple. Cool colors are purple, blue, and green. She knows that it's time to wrap herself up in a warm blanket called a chrysalis and take a long nap high above the ground. Can you draw the tree branch that Caterpillar's chrysalis is going to hang from? Oh, oh. Wow, bright brown. I see you like this color. You really know how to illustrate. That color is marvelous. Warm colors are yellow, red, and orange. In the spring, she emerges from her chrysalis as a beautiful butterfly with colorful wings. What do you think her other wing looks like? Is she pretty? Oh, oh. Black, very perfect. Black, very perfect. Don't 
think you'd love that, but that's really looking interesting. You'll really know how to illustrate. She is so happy that she flaps her wings and flies through a garden of flowers. Uh-oh, no flowers. See if you can illustrate some flowers on those stems. I think that butterfly will like it. Butterflies love flowers. Oh, oh. Purple, black, black. Cool colors are purple, blue, and Harry Presto. That's really looking interesting. Is this color your favorite? You must really like this color. Blue, great choice. This storybook is looking great. That red is going to look awesome. Colors are so magical. I see you like this color. Are you going to use warm colors or cool colors? That color is marvelous. The end. This story will be great in the really big art show. Those illustrations are marvelous. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Now we can go back and you can pick a story for yourself. Blue, go ahead and pick another story, Blue. Shovel and Tail's Sandcastle. One day, Shovel and Tail built an enormous sandcastle. Can you complete the illustration for the sandcastle? Ooh, I'm yellow. Warm colors are yellow, red, and orange. Is this color your favorite? You really know how to illustrate. This storybook is looking great. Why don't you add that to the same castle? Black is a great color. Why don't you add that to the deep water surrounding the sandcastle on every side? Can you fill in the water around the sandcastle? <coughs> that red is going to look awesome. That color is marvelous. Warm colors are yellow, red, and... Yeah! Orange colors are so magical. Cool colors are purple, blue, and green. That's really looking interesting. Are you going to use warm colors or cool colors? I see you like this color. You must really like this color. Green! Are you going to use warm colors or cool colors? That's really looking interesting. Don't you love that? Is this color your favorite? This storybook is looking great. That color is marvelous. Warm colors are yellow, red, and orange. Okay, we better draw a bridge. Prince! Purple. Kangaroo loves purple. Cool colors are purple, blue, and green. I see you like this color. You really know how to illustrate. Brown is a perfect color. are so magical. Shovel and Tail ran across the new bridge, over the water, to the great castle they had built. Okay, see if you can draw Shovel and Tail on the bridge. <laughs> That's a familiar face. Black is a great color. You must really like this color. Are you going to use warm colors or cool colors? Is this color your favorite? You must really like this color. Warm colors are yellow, red, and orange. Purple, kangaroo, love colors are so magical. Black is a great color. That color is marvelous. That's really looking interesting. Cool 
colors are purple, blue, and green. I see you like this color. They were so proud of themselves that they hung flags from all four of the sandcastle towers. The last things we need to illustrate are some flags on those flagpoles at the top of the tower. Black. Black is a great color. You really know how to illustrate. Ooh, red. That this storybook is looking great. Are you going to use warm colors or cool colors? Cool colors are purple, blue, and green. Okay, and now for our last page. Alakazam! The end. That was a magical story. Bye-bye. Want to save this one in your portfolio? Or go ahead and pick another story, Blue. You want to add this to your collection of... Okay, Blue. Shovel and Tail, Sandcastle. Pink, Train Ride. Captain Slippery's Voyage. It's called Captain Slippery's Voyage. Okay. Captain Slippery is always sailing in his boat. Uh-oh. I think we need to draw the rest of Slippery's boat before this story sells anywhere. really like this color. He bobs up and down on the bubbles as he floats. Can you draw some more bubbles in the water? <laughs> Green! Steve's favorite! Are you going to use warm colors or cool colors? Purple. Tango. This storybook is looking great. What? Blue colors are so magical. I see you like this color. Wow! Great bra! That color is marvelous! You really know how to ill- Harry Presto Apiro! Our is this color your favorite? Cool colors are per green! All right! Today there is no wind to blow his sail! Can you illustrate a great sail to go with Slippery's great boat? <coughs> Can you draw a sail on Slippery's boat? You can put on a sticker for the sail! <coughs> going to look awesome.